hi there so I want to share with you how you can uh, pass the financial management paper of the ICA professional examination now when it comes to financial management what I want to do in this short video is to give you an overview of financial management and how to study the financial management now the financial management paper I believe that is one of the uh, papers that are very easy to pass because of the fact that you know the areas uh, that or you can determine or predict easily the areas that are examinable by the examiner and it is also one of the subjects where um, formulas are used but the examiner provides you with the formula so your duty will now be as I always say understand the fundamental concept that underline each topic that underline each uh, area of the syllabus and how the topics are inter twine or interrelated so that you can increase your chances of passing the examination now so when it comes to financial management there is a beginning aspect of the financial management which is a theory area usually so that is about the uh, objective of the financial manager the economic environment of businesses as well as the issue in relation to um, financial markets and all of those things so these are more theory areas that you're going to be reading now if you have your study text you see that I think from page 1 to page 85 it's covered with those theories that you need to read now these are general fundamental theories that you can go through but you know you should know that the examiner is going to set between um, um, uh, five to ten mark question from that area of the syllabus so even though it, it's voluminous it is not going to be a match thing that the examiner will be examining on because it is an area where they talk about or the exam the syllabus talks about a lot of things in that space then the second thing that you're going to be uh, knowing or you're going to be studying is what we call the investment appraisal now investment appraisal is very important because you see when it comes to financial management we are actually doing four things in financial management because you see the financial manager or what we call the CFO the chief finance officer helps businesses in the making of various decisions now in in financial management level two usually we are interested in the short-term decisions but in advanced financial management or what we call corporate finance we are interested in long-term decision so the word CFO chief finance officer or the financial manager will be used interchangeably or I'll be using that interchangeably when I throughout the discussion so th what are the decisions that the financial manager helps businesses in making the first decision has to do with investment decision so that's the first one second one has to do with financial or financing decision third one has to do with dividend decision and then the fourth thing is the risk management decisions so these are the four decisions that the CFO helps the business in making so the first decision has to do with the investment decision now when it comes to investment decisions this is where the company asks what kind of investments can what can we make as a company now when we talk about investment here as you should know it is capital expenditure so capital investment decision so this is where we talk about decisions such as acquisition of assets acquisition of a business launching of a new product development of a product or working on an idea of a company so all of these things are going to be investment decisions but usually what happens is that we only undertake decisions that have uh, maximum or that will maximize the returns of the shareholders so we need to appraise the project and find out whether they are worthy to be taken so if the CFO helps the business using what we call investment appraisal techniques now if you are doing financial management in level two then you are supposed to know the following techniques in relation to the investment appraisal the accounting rate of return which is where we look at the profits that uh, we are making on the project and and finding out comparing the profit the ratio of that profit against the company's cost of capital so if the profit is more than the company's cost of capital boom then we can undertake what that project then the second thing has to do with um 
the payback period then how long it takes for us to pay back how much money we invested then the discounted payback period where we take into consideration the time value of money then the present value method which is going to be very fundamental you make sure that you know how to work around that area then also the issue about the internal rate of return if you are doing advanced financial management, you are going to be familiar with topics such as the modified internal rate of return, duration, as well as the issue in relation to the concept of free cash flows in investment appraisal. So that is the first decision that the uh, CFO helps the business to make. And definitely, definitely, the examiner is going to set question on investment appraisal. MPV has been the common area, but each of the methods can be examined by the examiner. Second thing is about financing decisions. So investment decision has to answer answers the question what projects do we undertake but financing ha decision has to answer the, or answers the question where do we get the money from or where do we get the financing from so under the financing decision this is where you'll be looking at sources of finance as well as the issue in relation to cost of capital so this is going to be a very core area because when we look at the short-term sources of finance long-term sources of finance then we need to calculate the cost of capital this is where you calculate the cost of debt we're going to calculate the cost of equity whether using the dividend valuation module or the capital asset pricing module then you are going to calculate the weighted average cost of capital certainly the examiner is going to set question on that and you've got to be familiar with that area so financing decision sources of finance and how much we are going to pay for that finance which is the cost of capital the third thing is dividend policy decisions now dividend policy decisions is closely related to financing decisions because how much dividend we pay will determine how much profit we will retain and that will affect how much uh, money will be available if we want to undertake investment projects so that will also determine whether we should go and borrow or we shouldn't borrow so there are dividend policies principles uh concepts that are factors that we consider in the making of dividend policies so that is an area that the examiner is going to also set questions on in level three especially advanced financial management you would want to make sure you look at that area about dividend policies the factors that we take into consideration in the designing of such policies and then the last thing is risk management now this is an area that many students screw up and uh, they find it difficult in determination of uh, whether we are using whatever method, whether the money market hedge, whether you are calculating transaction rates, you are dealing with option theories or you are doing the with the black, uh, black schools uh, module, pr option pricing module in the evaluation of options in investment appraisal. So here it's an area that you want to be looking at in relation to that. So in a nutshell, if you want to pass financial money, I will I, I will entreat you to make sure you are okay with investment appraisal make sure you go through everything under investment appraisal make sure you understand the theories sources of finance is a theory then the calculation cost of capital certainly the examiner will set a question on that then the dividend policy decision certainly there will be questions that the examiner will play around with that then you will also get a question on risk management decisions i believe that when you're able to go through these you will be able to pass your financial management paper and if you want videos on each of these areas if you're already on youtube you can check my channel and watch it there but if you're watching this on instagram or on facebook you can head on to youtube insurer premium and then check out my channel i have lecture videos on each of these areas that will help you to be able to prepare well for the examination so this is what you have to do if you want to pass financial management paper so i'll see you sometime later